Welcome back. Well, all bets are on. This Sunday, as the day Prime Minister Kevin Rudd will finally announce a federal election, the government appears to be clearing the decks for the ballot with its economic statement expected today. That must be why we just saw Malcolm Turnbull just loosening up the shoulders <laughs> a little bit. Did you notice that? And on top of the Getting new ready. smoking taxes, the government will be beefing up the coffers with a new levy on banks and credit union deposits up to $250,000. Now, joining us to discuss this is the Federal Health Minister, Tanya Plibersek, and the Shadow Communications Minister, Malcolm Turnbull. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Tanya, let's start with just quickly the tobacco tax. It's going to add $5.3 billion to Treasury coffers, making smokers pay more for their habit. I mean, they're an e easy target, aren't they? Well, we know that smoking kills 15,000 Australians every year. We know that the single most effective thing we can do to reduce smoking rates is to put up the price. When the price went up in 2010, we saw an 11% drop in the volume of tobacco sold in Australia. And we know that the, the most price sensitive people are young people, kids, teenagers. Um, if we can prevent teenagers taking up smoking and if we can reduce the amount that existing smokers are smoking, that's a, a great health benefit for our community. It's adding about $5 to a packet. Will the Coalition continue this policy? Well, we'll respond to the whole package uh, when it's announced. Uh, but the the reality is that while it will have the health benefits that uh, Tanya mentioned, there's no doubt you put the price up on cigarettes and fewest people smoke, but uh, the, let's face it, the reason the government's doing it is not because it's concerned about people's health, it's doing it because it needs the money, because it has been spending and borrowing too much. So this is all about filling the, the budget black hole that has been created by Labor's own extravagance. Well, Malcolm, a lot of your colleagues have said that they're not in favour. Joe Hockey's been very equivocal about this and, frankly, I think it's because the Liberal Party keeps taking tobacco donations that we can't get a clear message from your colleagues. I know you support it. You said in 2009 that we should put up tobacco well, not... excise for health reasons. Yeah, no, no let, let's just be clear. I mean, I'm, I'm being... Uh, I'm not saying that we're going to support the... or, or not support this particular increase, but... I'm, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and, and, and be disingenuous. I mean, the fact is, if you put up the price on cigarettes, fewer people will smoke. Okay. That that's happens with most things. Well, on the subject of, of, of making up that money, uh, which clearly needs to be done at the moment, the bank levy, I mean, it, it is small at 0.05%, at so that's $5 a year on a $10,000 account. But the perception is there, isn't it, Tanya, that, that this is still a case of government putting their hands into our pockets and taking our money? Well, I think uh, there'll be more details about this uh, over the next few days, but the IMF and other banking institutions have said it's important that we have a strong banking system and that this was a gap in our banking system. It's also worth remembering that um, since we came to government, the average uh, person who's got a $300,000 mortgage is paying $5,500 less in interest. They had 10 successive interest rate rises under the Howard government. Interest rates have dropped $5,500 on a, on a $300,000 mortgage. If you're talking about a small impost like that to secure our banking system, that's probably a good investment. Malcolm, are you going to adopt it as well? Well, again, we'll respond to the whole package, but it is just a tax, right? It's modelled, presumably, on the Cypriot uh, banking so, so tax. <laughs> uh, sure, but you, you're, not, you're not ruling out doing the same thing, correct? Well, we'll respond holistically when the whole thing is... Holistically? Is, yeah, that's absolutely, oh, to the oh, whole oh, package. Malcolm's to the whole Chris go the, on a the little entire, massage. It's <laughs> very touchy we'll, feeling. We'll a respond, bit of breaking, smoking breaking. a cigarette at the time. We'll respond to the whole $50 enchilada. $50 cigarettes. So, so you're, you're just transference uh, there. Now, can I just uh, ask this, though, because what's interesting is this uh, new tax on bank deposits that's being proposed, which, can own, which is only going to result in mm. depositors getting lower interest uh, receipts, so mm. that'll be tough on anyone who's a saver, anyone who's a retiree, etc. But what, what's, it's being talked about as though it is somehow or other to fund the deposit guarantee, but if it's going to fund the deposit guarantee, it should be going into a separate escrow fund and not be part of the government's uh, revenues that it can use for all of its other expenditures. Okay. But it seems to me to be just, uh, apparently, well, well, just, another, just another tax. We, we, we do need to move to the election date because uh, we're, you know, there are plenty of journalists sitting yeah. around at the moment in Canberra hanging off uh, your words, wondering when it's going to happen, let alone the rest of us who are trying to plan our lives. And Tanya and I know. Put us out of our misery. We, 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 were, we were chatting to Kevin earlier. Yes. <laughs> and he swore us both to secrecy, didn't he? <laughs> so he won't. Did he really? He did. He did. He said, Tanya. Malcolm, I know you're going on the show, but you cannot tell was he Ben and Georgie and when the election was. He, well, he was, he, he was sort of just 
whatever, zip. When you know, if, when if. Fair suck. Whatever. The, when is it happening? Fair suck at the on, Savaloy, Tanya. whatever. I, I think I it'll be know. this Sunday. He'll go and do it this. He'll go to Yarralumla on Sunday, won't he? I don't know. Yeah. Tanya. Would that suit you? Have you worked out your plans? I'm ready to go now. Okay. Absolutely. And nothing yep. else on. Yep. We are so over it, Ben. No. I think the whole nation is over it. The best thing Kevin Rudd can do is call the election, and he's just got it. We just got to get on with it and let the people decide. Well, I'm not ready for that reason. I'm ready because I love campaigning and I think that we've got a really good story to tell about Labor's success in government. You've got one of the safest seats in Australia. No wonder you love campaigning. <laughs> we'll let you, we'll let yeah. you argue this off, uh, listen, offset. <laughs> and let, let me show you this. Thank you so much for your Thanks time. Thanks for Tanya coming in this Malcolm Turnbull Slap. in the house. Just watch this because there is a bare bike rider from Brisbane who has just hit the big time. You're going to love this bloke. It's in the buzz, Tanya and Malcolm, right after the break. You're watching like, today I'd around like Australia. I'd like to see what he, how he'd look, how, how many goosebumps he'd have if he was doing that in Hobart. <laughs> I